Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am W2Best and I make videos about tech travel and inspiration. Today we're gonna have a look at how to take a 2.5 inch drive like this one and make that into an external SSD that you can plug into your USB-A or USB-C port on your laptop. We'll be using a few different products in this video and I will link to all the different products in the description below so you can get them if you want to. If you don't have an SSD already at home, I would really recommend you to get one of the Samsung T5 SSDs. They are super awesome, small in size, but really high speed. And if I didn't have this Samsung Evo 860 lying around at home, I would have gotten a Samsung T5 for sure. Now that I have this drive already at home, I'm definitely gonna use it because getting one of these kits to turn it into an external SSD is way cheaper than getting a full external SSD from Samsung. Let's get right into it and see how we do this. To make this happen, we're gonna need a 2.5 inch SSD, like the one I have here, a 2.5 external SSD enclosure kit. To put it together, we're gonna need a small screwdriver, either by using a kit like this one, or a small screwdriver like this one that was included in the package when I got the SSD enclosure kit. When you have these parts, the procedure is very simple. The first pieces you want to use is the SSD together with the connection part of the enclosure kit. You fit these together and they only fit in one way. You have one long connector part and one short connector part. And the same goes here, you have one short connector part and one long connector part. That means you're just gonna plug this thing in and it fits together just like that. After that you will slide this thing into the enclosure. And there you can see the USB-C plug on this enclosure kit. Then you just put the screws in. And there you have a 2.5 inch external SSD. To plug this into the computer, we're also gonna need a cable. We can either use a USB-C to USB-A cable like this one, or a USB-C to USB-C cable like this one if your computer has a USB-C input. One of the USB-Cs go into the SSD, the other one to the computer, or the USB-C goes into the SSD and the USB-A goes into the computer. Before we wrap this up, let's have a look at benchmarks to see how quick this SSD runs once we plug it into the computer. I'm now plugging the SSD into a USB 3.0 port in my laptop. And as you can see, it shows up with all the files that I have put on it since beforehand. Let's run a benchmark with Crystal Disk Mark to see how fast this one runs when being plugged into the USB-A port versus being plugged into the USB-C port. This is with the USB-A port. The results when using a USB-A to USB-C cable are significantly lower than what you could expect from this kind of SSD. The advertised read and write speeds are around 550 megabytes. Let's try out with a USB-C to USB-C cable and see if we can reach some higher speeds. As you can see right here, using the USB-C cable improved the results significantly. Up to 10 times faster read and write speeds compared to the USB-A to USB-C cable that I was using before. The next time I'm using my external SSD, I am definitely gonna use a USB-C to USB-C cable. If you like this video, please hit the like button and if you have any other suggestions or questions about making an external SSD out of a 2.5 inch SSD, please write them in the comments below and I will answer as quickly as I can. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, I would be super happy to see you as a subscriber so that you can get all the content that I'm gonna be putting out there in the future. Have a really nice day and then I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!